Yes, Lord, man. Yours truly, Big Sweet, checking in, man. It's all about that trapping at the trap house, man. I got a legendary cat, a cool cat that's been in the game for a long time. Mr. Mar- Marla Wayne's in the building. What's happening, man? How you doing? Man, I'm feeling good, man. It feels like I've been watching you so long that I know you, man. I thought I did know you. <laughs> but then I realized, no, he just look a lot like my niece, Shantae. <laughs> Oh, man. With a beard. She pretty. It's a good thing, man. I want to be a pretty girl, man. All right. Well, then uh, you could be ugly, man. That's, <laughs> that's easy. I got a couple of nephews you your favor. <laughs> man, it's, it's ten siblings in New York, man. How was it growing up, dog? Crowded. Crowded. As hell. But it's good because I grew up in a gang. You know what okay. I mean? You instantly have your own gang. I never thirsted to be a part of any gang, any society. I was Wayans. I When I went to college, I didn't want to be in a frat. Mm. I grew up Wayans. I was born in a frat. So... I ain't got to go through all that haze. I've been haze my whole life, but I grew up in a frat. You know what I mean? Wayans all day. So so out, out, of, out of all your brothers, man, which brother didn't you like growing up? Like, what, what brother just got on your nerves? It's like, man. Probably the dead one. Um, I glad <laughs> he's dead. I, I, ain't really, I ain't really like him that much. But, you know, but I miss him. Okay. Uh, but he was crazy. What, what, what did he used to do to you? Just, just oh, he used to you? beat the hell out of me. But I used to find it funny that he used to beat the hell out of me. So, so you get your ass whipped and laugh? Yeah. Yeah, it, I, it helped my chin. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got a hell of a chin. I can't fight, but I could take a punch. <laughs> so, what was your favorite sibling? Which one? My favorite brother was Sean. Sean. Then it switched to Keenan when he started buying me stuff. <laughs> then it switched to Damon when he got richer than Keenan. <laughs> now I don't like any of them. What is it like growing up in a household with so many successful siblings? Like, was it always like a rivalry? Like, who could make the most money? Like, no. You know what I mean? No, like, no, no. I we. That's just bad, bad love. It's about who, about funniest. We always said my mom was the funniest, and that was the truth. And we don't, we don't compete against each other. Sometimes we'd be on stage, or we'll, we'll crack a joke, or we'll be writing a scene, and we'll try and top the joke. But it's friendly competition. You can't have that kind of bad uh, energy in your family. You know, my mother, when we used to argue or fight, she make us kiss in the mouth. And uh, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, but Sean didn't have a good breath, and I hated that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we stopped that real quick. We just got along. Oh, you better, man. I, like, I, what keeps you going, man? Like, you've you been motivated just to keep going for a long time, been in the game for a long, long time. Like, what I never want to taste government cheese again. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> never want to wipe my ass with newspaper. Poverty. I never, I don't like it. If right. I am allergic to it. <laughs> it's not comfortable. The bed springs suck. I don't like pee on my mattresses. I like eating my food with a fork. (laughs) Right. I like sugar in my cereal. Right. I like actually having milk, not water. I like meat on a sandwich, not just condiments. You know what I mean? Like this is, so I just, yeah, that that keeps me motivated. But see, you've been doing it for a long time. So it's like, I I try to tell cats because I always need to ask just certain people that's just been, always been successful. Like it's been a long time. Like you are way far away from poverty. No, Mize. you are never. And, and, poverty is always one bad spin away. Mm. One bad spin and one. You are always one, one <laughs> bad court case away from poverty. <laughs> that is all, one bad court case. Because if you lose the decision and you got to pay her lawyer fees and your lawyer Come fees, on you are one bad decision or court decision away from being poor. So, you know, till then, collect money until you got to pay them bills. Mindset, mindset, I ain't mad. So what is like being a dad? Like, now you got some grown kids. Like, you know what I mean? Did you think Amber Heard would ever think she was going to be poor again? She was one (laughs) bad court decision. You thought I was going to say R. Kelly. You too. (laughs) One bad court decision away from poverty. You know how much money that man, what's his name, who died? White guy had an island. Jeffrey Epstein. Uh-huh. You know how much money he had? Lawyers ate him up so bad he couldn't stand the thought of being poor for the rest of his little white life. He said, I am going to hang myself while I'm still got money. So hopefully I could go to rich white heaven. I get the one bad court case away from being poor. I'm not mad. I, I think I'm going to lock that and make sure I lock that in. You keep, better lock it in. Stay, stay you focused better on lock it in. So my fatherhood, man, what is it like, man, now that you got grown? Because I'm a girl dad. She's 12. Oh, you about to go through it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah. trying, hey, give me some advice, man. What's, Don't what's, be tight. <laughs> okay. You're already tight. Look at your knuckles. is all. Calm down. She's going to be all right. Just trust your instincts. It's going to happen. Things going to happen. Right. Best thing my daughter ever said to me was, hey, dad, I'm gay. I was like, bet. <laughs> bet. I ain't got to worry about no... 
finger thingings and all them little crusty boys. I ain't got to worry about nothing. You know, I'm like, enjoy, Dad, I'm going out with my girl. Enjoy. Y'all need money? <laughs> right. How many days you want to stay out? I ain't got no beef. Like, my son, he cools a fan. You, That's what you messed up. You had the Y sperm or the X? I see. I got two boys, too. I got a girl and a boy. How's your boy? My boys is six and three. Mm, you got a long time to wait till it get fun. That's what I'm trying See, to say. See, my son is fun right now. He's 20. He's 20. He be in my DM. He be in, uh, be in my, my girls be hitting me up like, can you tell your son stay out of my DM? <laughs> I'm like, here you go again. I don't be in your your girl DM. Stay out of mine. She 40, son. I don't know that. I know because I don't like 40 either, but she, <laughs> <laughs> but she look young. HBO Max, man. Yeah. You the move. You switch the stars. They ain't come with that check or something? What's going on? Um, actually, they they change. I keep getting caught up with the executives in charge mm. change because the industry is changing so much. And so, you know, to be fair, I'm actually very grateful to uh, Warner Brothers and HBO Max. I thought that they handled it appropriately. Um, I thought that uh, Su- Susanna Mockles was a mensch. You know what I mean? They could hold on to your show and be like, no, we want to do it here. Right. We want to do it. And they were gracious enough to allow it to be like, yo, it's not going to be on our platform. Our agendas change. And they allowed us to go to uh, a platform like Stars that really, really wants it. Mm. And, um, you know, one man's trash is another man's hey, hit show. Like, so let, right. let's go. Let's go, Stars. <laughs> You're damn right. So tell me about this birthday party, man. I was looking on Instagram, man. It looks like it looked, the groove was, <laughs> come on now. Looks like the party was amazing, bro. Marlon's groove. Tell me about it. Looked like a good time to me. I ain't had no party. Shit, me. I seen it on Instagram. I ain't have no party. That was a get together. That was a gathering. A gathering. You, you get to my age. You don't have parties. <laughs> you have gatherings. So I was at gatherings. Parties man. have drugs. We had a gathering. <laughs> we, we parties have inexpensive liquor that get you really drunk and make you throw up. You had a gathering. Parties, people spill things. I had a gathering. gathering okay. And my gathering was swell. I gathered a lot of beautiful people all around, <laughs> and we. We had cocktails, <laughs> and uh, we had a great time. And then I had a family day. I had a weekend of parties. And I didn't realize how loved I was until, like, my family was making me a guest list for a party they was going to throw me. Uh-huh. And the guest list was weird. I was like, yo, let me see that. And they had, like, people I knew my whole life and, and like, my friends that I, I'm cool with in uh-huh. the industry. And then, like, like. Weird people from my family. I'm like, you can't put us all oh, in me. one. Like, it's too much. It's like I look at the guest list and it'd be like, uh, Uzi Burt and Baby Ivory. I'm like, why <laughs> are <laughs> these two? Po- right. Nas and Aunt Pauline. Nas would never party with, with Aunt, Aunt Pauline. Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> so I do. Make it three different parties. Oh, you mad, man. So one more last question, man. What would you tell some of the young cats, up-and-coming actors and, you know what I mean, like directors out here? For the I'll tell anybody cats. trying to be successful. Mm. Find something you love and do the work. That's all. Do the work. Let nobody tell you how big you're going to be. You have to dream outside your own skin, outside your own thoughts, outside your own fears. And as long as you're willing to do the, to do the work, you can accomplish it. Everybody thought Kanye was crazy. He's like, I'm a billionaire. You don't understand. I stole, told Steve Jobs. I to-. Mm, right. That man bet on himself. Exactly. He knew what he was. Come on now. Now who's crazy? Mm. Sometimes you ain't crazy. They just want you to think you crazy because you just believe in yourself. You got to believe that you that dude. You got to mm. believe that you are ultimately a visionary. I, after 30 years in the industry professionally, mm. know that I'm special. Mm. And that's why I'm betting on myself. I'm going to, to go be my most special me. So come, come on, now. watch me be special. Tomorrow night at Center Stage, two shows, 7 and 9.30. Get your behind there. Come watch what I'm talking about. Come see why I'm spending my money not on a chain but on some art. Come on, not man. on a car but on my art. Come on now. God loves me. God does love like, me. I don't know about you. God loves me, too. I don't know, Negro. I think he likes me a whole lot more. <laughs> we go, man. Peace. Peace he gave you a 12-year-old daughter. He gave me a gay one. I'm not stressed out like you are. Hey, sure. <laughs> trap another trap out there. My way is big Yes, Lord.